I do want to invite and ask everyone to please support my very small business and ministry here by liking, sharing, subscribing here to the channel. For the month of July, we have joined together with the Stop Hate for Profit campaign against Facebook and Instagram alongside the NAACP and the Anti-Defamation League. And while we have big brands like Unilever and Coca-Cola and Adidas um, in here with us, you know, for small fish like me, it's very damaging because that is our main source of advertising. So please do support us in this fight against hate and voter suppression by subscribing, sharing, liking this video. We appreciate you. Virgos, what is going on with you for this week? On Monday the 13th, there's talk of an awful lot of whispers. Whispers can mean that um, you're trying to keep something quiet or that someone around you is trying to keep something quiet. That would very much be like important information that we really do need to know about. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna wanna pay attention to your surroundings. On Tuesday the 14th, there is talk of keeping an eye on health your own health, and the health of those in your close circle. On Wednesday the 15th, there's talk of you having very sharp eyes. And this connects to Thursday the 16th. What I felt about you watching really intensely somebody or a situation is that you might be very focused on what is yours, okay? So for those of you that have tension in your work environment or you're dealing with, um, you know, a, an ex-spouse, you're dealing with custody, you're dealing with a divorce, you're dealing with um, any anything having to do with your money, maybe you're about to go into a contract, there is a sense here of almost like you being a hawk, like you are watching that situation both days and you're taking note on what is yours. And I feel that there's an interesting dynamic going on here because when you put that type of energy out, sometimes the opponent just runs away because they know literally they're defeated, okay? So we'll see what happens, pay attention. Friday the 17th, there's talk of your ancestors coming in and bringing you wisdom, talking to you about your peace your peace of mind, your ability to stay centered in the present moment, not heavy and depressive because you're thinking on the past, not anxious and nervous because you're thinking on the future. You can always tell where your mind is based on your physical and emotional reactions. If you're heavy and low, you're thinking in the past. If you're anxious, you're thinking in the future. If you are in the present moment, you are just centered, like your head is empty, like a boat sailing in the ocean, you will have peace. It is inevitable, regardless of your circumstances, you will have more peace. So your ancestors are helping you to get there and to stay there. And they are pointing out that your inner peace is of greatest value. So I would not be surprised if we're revisiting some issues from earlier in the week, when maybe you want to fight, you want to lash out, you want to make sure that what is rightfully yours doesn't get taken from you. Sometimes you have to say, you know what, maybe this isn't my battle. Maybe holding on to peace is the war that I need to win right now. Maybe that's the battle is to hold on to peace. And they said your inner peace is of the greatest value. It is above money. It is above a love partner that you want to hold on to. It is about a situation that you want to have work out your way. You may have to find ways to understand when it's time to fight and when it's time to just hold steady and hold on to your peace. We just did a free mini class called Timing, When to Make a Move. That can help you a lot this week. Saturday the 18th, there's talk of a closed door. And there was some male energy connected to that. That doesn't have to literally be a male. It could be anything um, masculine related, which would be... Um, uh, authority, pushing, uh, aggressive, could be anything like that, okay? Um, there's some talk of you closing a door on some type of a conflict that is very deliberate. This isn't the type of a conflict where 
um, maybe two people are ever going to see eye to eye or some type of agreement can be reached. This is more, uh, they wrote old and stupid, okay? So when spirit says old and stupid, spirit means old and stupid. This person or the situation that you're dealing with is um, lame, you know? It's just not ever going to go anywhere. And so I see you needing to shut the door and keep it shut. That means no contact. Sunday the 19th and Monday the 20th, there's talk of love and there's talk of, um, well, there's talk of a pig. So I want to see what's going on here with this, okay? So on Sunday the 19th, when we're talking about love, we are talking about potential soulmate connection. We're talking about potential connection with someone where there is a contract, possibly karmic lessons. We have a class called uh, Past Lives, Karma, and Contracts that might be able to break that down for you. What is it? I do feel that there's a major connection going on here between you and someone else. And I do feel that there's potential in the way that there's supposed to be time spent there. Um, I also feel that this could be someone in your close circle, family, children, you know, friends. It could be anyone um, that is special in your heart. Now, I just want to make sure that the peg isn't necessarily in relation to this new uh, lover or this love affair that you find yourself in. For those of you, if it fits, okay, if it winks like a pig and eats pig food, then it's a pig, all right? That's all you need to know. For the rest of you, pig is a prosperity symbol. Um, meat, different types of meat are actually about prosperity, and pig is right there at the top. So we could be looking at some major potential here with a relationship possibly converting itself into um, long-term stability, marriage, anything like that. Virgos, have a great week.